ever wondered how the world of computers works? What magic makes them function the way they do? Welcome to the realm of computing science, a place where the gears of logic, mathematics, and creativity interlock to power our digital world. A vast and complex field, computing science is the backbone of the modern age. It's the invisible force behind every click, every swipe, every notification. It's the language that our devices speak, the logic that makes them tick. It's the foundation that supports the towering skyscrapers of data, the labyrinthine tunnels of the internet, and the sprawling landscapes of software applications. But don't be intimidated. The beauty of computing science lies in its simplicity. In its core, it's all about solving problems, breaking them down into manageable pieces, and finding efficient solutions. It's a journey of discovery, of constant learning and unlearning. Join us today as we delve into the fascinating world of computing science. Computing science didn't just appear out of nowhere. It has a rich history filled with intriguing stories. The story of computing science is one of human ingenuity and curiosity, a tale of inventors, mathematicians, and engineers pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. Our journey starts thousands of years ago with the most primitive forms of calculation. The abacus, for instance, a simple counting tool, was used by the ancient Egyptians and Chinese, and it's still in use today in some parts of the world. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, and you'll find the mechanical astrolabe, an elaborate device for solving problems related to time and the position of the stars, used by astronomers and navigators. Then, in the 19th century, things really began to heat up. English mathematician Charles Babbage designed the analytical engine, a general-purpose mechanical computer that used punch cards to carry out calculations and data storage. Though it was never fully built in Babbage's lifetime, it's widely recognized as the conceptual predecessor of the modern computer. Around the same time, Ada Lovelace, a brilliant mathematician, wrote what's often considered the first computer program for Babbage's engine. She's now celebrated as the world's first computer programmer. Fast forward to the mid-20th century, the era of electronic computers. The ENIAC, or Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, was among the first. It was a massive machine, filling an entire room, and was used to calculate artillery firing tables during World War II. In the decades that followed, computers became smaller, faster, and more powerful, evolving into the devices we use today. From the first personal computers in the late 70s, to the rise of the internet in the 90s, and now the era of smartphones and cloud computing, the pace of change has been relentless. The evolution of computing science has been a long journey, and we are only at the beginning. The story of computing science is a story of constant innovation, of human beings using their ingenuity to solve problems, to create new possibilities, and to shape the world around us. It's a story that's still being written, and we can't wait to see where it goes next. Every great structure starts with a single block. So what are the building blocks of computing science? Imagine a world where the mysteries of computing science come alive, not as a complex mesh of intimidating equations, but as basic elements that can be arranged and rearranged to create a multitude of outcomes. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of this fascinating world to uncover the fundamental building blocks of computing science. At the core, there are three main components, algorithms, data structures, and programming languages. Let's start with algorithms, the step-by-step -step instructions or rules that a computer follows to solve a problem or achieve a specific goal. They're like the blueprints used by computers to complete tasks efficiently. From sorting your emails to finding the quickest route home, algorithms are at work, making our digital lives easier and more streamlined. Next up, we have data structures. Think of them as the storage rooms where all the information is kept. Data structures organize and store data in a way that enables efficient access and modification. They're the reason why you can quickly search for a song in your music library or retrieve a saved document from your hard drive in a blink of an eye. Finally, there's the programming language, the medium through which we communicate with computers. It's like learning a new language, only this time, your conversation partner is a machine. Programming languages allow us to write algorithms and create data structures giving us the power to instruct computers to perform a multitude of tasks, from simple calculations to launching a spacecraft. In essence, these three components work in tandem, like gears in a well-oiled machine. Algorithms provide the instructions, data structures offer the storage and organization, and programming languages bridge the gap between human thought and machine execution. And there you have it, the basic building blocks of computing science. They may seem simple on their own, but when combined, they form a powerful tool set,
capable of driving the digital revolution that's shaping our world. These building blocks form the foundation of all computing science. Algorithms are the magic behind the scenes, but what exactly are they? Dive into the world of algorithms and you'll find a realm where logic waltzes with mathematics. On the surface, algorithms might seem like complex, intimidating creatures. But in essence, they are nothing more than sets of instructions or rules that computers follow to solve problems or accomplish tasks. Imagine you're baking a cake. You can't just randomly throw ingredients together and expect a delicious outcome. You follow a recipe, right? That recipe is your algorithm. It tells you the order of steps to take, which ingredients to use, and how much of each to add. Similarly, in computing science, algorithms guide computers on how to process data. They are step-by-step -step procedures that transform input into a desired output. For instance, a simple algorithm could be designed to sort a list of names in alphabetical order. It would take the unsorted list as input, follow a set of rules to rearrange the names, and output the sorted list. But algorithms are not just confined to simple tasks. They are the architects behind the scenes of your favorite search engines, powering your online shopping recommendations, and even predicting weather forecasts. They are the unseen heroes that make our digital world tick. A good algorithm is like a fine-tuned orchestra. It's efficient, it's accurate, and it executes its task with precision. It's a delicate balance of complexity and simplicity, designed to solve a problem in the most efficient way possible. It's not just about getting to the destination, but getting there in the most effective manner. However, creating algorithms is no small feat. It requires a deep understanding of the problem at hand, the ability to translate that understanding into logical steps, and the skill to express those steps in a language a computer can understand. Algorithms are the lifeblood of computing science. They are the magic that transforms a jumble of data into meaningful information, the spell that turns a complex problem into a simple solution. They are the wizards that conjure up the wizardry we see in our everyday digital experiences. Algorithms, though complex, are the heart of computing science. We've talked about algorithms, but what about the data they work on? Welcome to data structures. Imagine data structures as the invisible scaffolding that holds together the digital world we know and love. They are a specialized format for organizing, storing, and managing data in a way that allows efficient access and modification. In essence, they are the backbone of computing science. Data structures come in a variety of forms, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. They are like different types of containers, each designed to hold and organize items in a particular way. For instance, an array is a simple, fixed-size data structure that can hold a specific number of items, while a linked list allows for a more dynamic and flexible storage system. Just as we use different containers in our everyday lives, like a drawer for clothes, a fridge for food, or a bookshelf for books, computers use different data structures for different tasks. A search engine, for example, might use a tree structure to store web pages and a hash table to index them. A social network, on the other hand, might use a graph to represent the connections between users. But why are data structures so crucial to computing science? Well, the choice of a suitable data structure can make or break an algorithm's performance. The right data structure can significantly speed up operations, while the wrong one can lead to inefficient, sluggish code. Think of it like this. If algorithms are the chefs of a restaurant, then data structures are the kitchen tools. The right tools can make cooking a breeze, but try chopping an onion with a spoon, and you'll see why the right tools matter. In conclusion, data structures are the unsung heroes of computing science. They are the underlying framework that allows algorithms to do their magic, making our digital lives possible. They are the storage rooms, the warehouses, the libraries of the digital world. Without data structures, algorithms would be like a ship without a compass. Computers don't speak human languages, they have their own. Let's explore programming languages. Imagine trying to navigate a foreign city without knowing the local language. That's how a computer feels when trying to interact with humans. It doesn't understand our words or gestures, but it comprehends a different kind of language, a programming language. Programming languages are the translators between humans and computers. They convert our human-readable instructions into machine-readable code. Each line of code is like a command or a request that we give to the computer. The computer, akin to a dutiful servant, executes these commands to the best of its ability. There are many programming languages out there, each with its own syntax, grammar, and purpose. Some are general purpose, like Python or Java, meaning they can be used to accomplish a wide variety of tasks. 
Others, like SQL or HTML, are specialized for specific tasks such as database management or web development. Programming languages evolve over time, just like human languages. They adapt to new technologies, ideas, and needs. For instance, the advent of the internet led to the creation of JavaScript, a language designed specifically for web development. Similarly, the rise of artificial intelligence and machine learning gave birth to languages like R and TensorFlow. But why do we need so many programming languages? Well, it's because different tasks require different tools. You wouldn't use a hammer to cut a piece of wood, right? Likewise, you wouldn't use HTML to build a machine learning model. Each language has its strengths and weaknesses, and understanding these can help us choose the right tool for the job. So how do we learn these languages? The good news is, you don't need to be a computer scientist or a mathematician. With dedication, curiosity, and a bit of patience, anyone can learn to code. There are countless resources available online, from tutorials and textbooks to coding boot camps and online courses. In essence, programming languages are our way of communicating with computers. They allow us to tap into the incredible power of these machines, to create, innovate, and solve problems that were once thought impossible. So let's start speaking the language of computers. Programming languages are our way of communicating with computers. The future of computing science holds endless possibilities, but what might some of these be? Imagine a world where computing science isn't just about faster processors or larger memory banks. Instead, it's about quantum computers, capable of performing complex calculations at speeds unfathomable to our current technology. Quantum computing harnesses the peculiar properties of quantum physics, and it's anticipated to revolutionize everything from drug discovery to climate modeling. But it's not just the speed that's so enticing about quantum computing. It's also the potential for new forms of encryption, secure communications, and even teleportation of information. Now let's shift our gaze to another frontier of computing science, artificial intelligence. AI has already made massive strides in recent years. From self-driving cars to voice recognition software, AI is becoming more integrated into our daily lives. But the future holds even more promise. We're talking about AI that's capable of learning and evolving on its own, without any human intervention. This kind of AI, known as artificial general intelligence, could potentially understand or learn any intellectual task that a human being can. It's a thrilling, if somewhat daunting, prospect. The future of computing science also lies in the realm of data. As the amount of data we generate continues to explode, the need for more efficient ways to store, process, and analyze it grows. New technologies such as DNA data storage offer the potential for storing vast amounts of information in a tiny amount of space. Meanwhile, advancements in machine learning and data analytics promise to make sense of this data deluge, unlocking insights that could transform industries and societies. Lastly, let's not forget the potential for computing science to drive societal change. Whether it's through digital currencies that democratize finance, or through technologies that make the internet more accessible and affordable, the possibilities are as diverse as they are exciting. The future of computing science is as exciting as it is mysterious. We may not know exactly what lies ahead, but one thing is for sure. The future of computing science will be shaped by our collective imagination, creativity, and ambition. So, let's dream big. We've traveled through the world of computing science, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. From the enigmatic world of computing science, we've seen how this field is not just about ones and zeros. It's a language, a tool, a framework that has shaped our world and continues to mold our future. We've journeyed from the birth of computing science, where we saw the genesis of a discipline that would revolutionize the way we live, work, and interact. We delved into the building blocks of computing science, exploring the foundational concepts and principles that make up this intricate field. From data structures to algorithms, we saw how these components work together to create complex systems and solutions. We then ventured into the magic of algorithms, the heart of computing science. Algorithms with their step-by-step -step instructions are the architects of our digital world, creating pathways for information to travel and tasks to be accomplished. We also explored the backbone of computing science, the hardware and software that give life to our digital experiences. From the silicon chips in our devices to the cloud-based platforms that power our online activities, we've seen how these elements come together to create the digital ecosystem we live in. And we cannot forget the language of computers, the coding languages from Python to Java, 
that allow us to communicate with machines, to instruct them, and to create digital solutions that solve real-world problems. Finally, we looked ahead to the future of computing science, a future filled with possibilities and challenges. From quantum computing to artificial intelligence, we're standing on the brink of a new era in computing science. In this journey, we've seen the importance and impact of computing science. It's a discipline that's intrinsically woven into our daily lives, shaping our experiences and driving innovation. It's a field that's ever evolving, pushing boundaries and expanding our understanding of what's possible. As we continue to explore and understand this vast field, who knows what amazing discoveries await us in the world of computing science?